Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today, today is, is I'm just chilling out. Uh, it's the day before Easter weekend and uh, I'm supposed to be doing some work. Couldn't be arsed, sorry. So, I was asked, uh, that, that, I did a video a little while ago and people, they were asked questions and one of the, well, a couple of the questions were, can we get an updated tour in the shed? What's in the shed? So that, is what I'm going to do just now because I thought it would be a good way of, for me, um, a little celebration for me and a little update on, because nine years, it's nine years now since I started vaping and since I started reviewing. Um, nine years, bloody hell. Anyway, um, yeah, let's have a look about the my ivory tower. What's going on in the shed? Right. Um, well, we'll start at the other end. We'll start at this end. Obviously, I'm using a little uh, gimbal thingamabobber, uh, and I should be able to push some buttons, and yeah, I'll turn around. Right, let, let's let's start round here. So, um, let's start with the really boring stuff. Typical vapor kitchen towel, or blue roll, M-Torque, whatever you call it. Go through reams of the stuff. Um, and, uh, and 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 this is really my oh this is my play corner can I call it that I've gone kind of crazy in here recently um yeah I've gone all retro in the hi-fi and stuff like that uh hang on while I get my glasses here because I can't actually see the little screen on the back here uh, uh there we go I can see now uh right so going round here we've got um this is a, a little light box just a cheapy thing picked up off of Amazon. I think it was thirteen pounds. Um, and uh, if I'm doing product shots or whatnot, I'll take the junk out of there. Uh, and and I use that. Uh, it's just connected up to a little uh, power bank at the back there. But uh, yeah, hang on. I'll just pop that on. And and it's great for product shots. And I got bits of leather from Steve uh, or Cuz Davidson. At heart leather craft and it, they make great backgrounds so kind of use that uh this is uh <laughs> my vinyl collection which one or one of these days if you're really really bored i'll bore you with but uh, the sad thing is that my vinyl collection kind of looks like my dad's vinyl collection if you told me when i was his oh, kid would i have harvest moon neil young no no but there it is just old before my time. Um, up here, what we've got... Well, I'll show you the, the stereo that I ended up getting. Uh, I went all retro. Uh, I've got a Thorns TD-165 uh, deck there. I'm listening to Human League Dare for my sins just now. Uh, I've got an old realistic. I know it's junk to some people, but I love it. Realistic amp. Uh, I got a little VU meter setter up, set up off of eBay as well, uh, just because you have to have a VU meter. Uh, the speakers, I picked up a set of b and O. I I think there's an SE or SX30s, I think they are. I can't remember now, but uh, it's plenty loud enough for in the shed. And this is what I kind of chill out and listen to. Um, if i feeling too lazy and I can't be bothered turning uh, the vinyl over, then I've got uh, an old Surface Tab, a Surface Pro, and I just run um, Spotify through that, and it's wired into the amp, and, and listen to that. So that's what's going on there. Um, we've got Random Toys. Yes, a 2000 AD fan. Have been since my dad bought me my first 2000 AD prog number one a long, long time ago when I was but just a nipper. And in fact, if we go here, there is, and my, this was a present from uh, my mum, my dad, and my brother. Uh, that is Prog 001 uh, behind the, the har boxes there. Uh, so, yeah, bit of a 2000 AD fan. Um, artwork. I got this. This was a present from young Mr. Lint. He's not young, but he's above average height for uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, from Gaz, um, we've got 
various things on the shelf here. Uh, this is a picture of uh, myself and two other stunningly handsome men as babies. Yes, strange, I know. Um, at one point, I was I was always saying I wish I had a 510 adapter uh, for 810 atties. And so this was a present uh, from Mr. Albans sent that on to me. Hellboy, obviously. Um, little, I don't know if this, if anybody's interested in little, this was actually a striker. It's uh, silver. I, 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 don't, I can't even remember where I got this from. Was it my mum? Might have been. She'll tell me. She might see this and she'll tell me. But uh, yeah, I've, I've keep that. Little knickknacks I tend to keep up here. A little shed that was a present. Once again, a little, a little hobbit. Present from my mum and dad. Um, once again, 2000 AD thing. Todd. Um, we've got the, this was a present one year. I think that was from a Christmas. My mum actually made that. Um, Obviously, Blade Runner, cracking film. Uh, the alcohol here is just some of the presents that I've got from people that, yes, I would love to drink it all, but uh, I just tend to yeah hang on to it and keep it up here. Um, Aliens fan, huge Aliens fan. Uh, Raj, as always, thank you, buddy. Um, that was That was actually a present from young Raj. Uh, so that and also I've got a predator here as well on another shelf uh, 2000 AD badge set at the back there I don't know if that'll pick that up it was a present from my brother this is uh, the, the, the labyrinth labrus labrus funky little mod it's so configurable little mech and I've always kept up in the shelf there and I use it from time to time because it's just really really smart it's beautiful I think he does them in stainless steel now I'm not 100% sure um, also we've got uh, one air purifier for when I don't open the shed door enough uh, we also have down here one spaniel obviously most people know that's TJ and uh, that's his basket kind of lives in the shed here with me and he's just going to come up and go yep there we go dog snot all over the place um so air purifier uh we then have a little 3d printer most folk like to take the piss out of me but yeah i've had many 3d printers as time has gone by and uh, this is the one i use now it's just a small bed really small bed but it's, uh, it's enough for what I need to do, which is just when you have an idea and you want to play with it, you need something tangible. It's just really easy to run it off in Tinkercad, throw it on here, and then I can feel it rather than just, yeah. Um, what else have we got here? Yes, another alien. I like aliens. Uh, yeah, there's a, a hand. From the time that I broke my hand and funnily enough I've broken my hand again uh, some hearts uh, DLC a gold one that Sasha wants badly but I'm not giving it to him because I'm evil um, on another shelf here we've got the uh, my duck from uh, <laughs> Quacksters I have many of these little ducks uh, we've got uh, another labyrinth a uh, labyrinth no, la Labris. That's it, Labris. Sorry. Uh, mod there. Uh, a Gulliver. This is a... I don't know if you're getting a... I mean, that's it in my hand. Gives you an idea of the size. This is a stacked... Uh, or a dual 26650. Uh, an old Yeehee board inside it. Um, it was a gift. That was a gift. We have... A beautiful, beautiful picture of TJ. Uh, obviously, this is from Barry. This was just the man that likes to make me cry because he sends such beautiful paintings. Um, down here, we've got all my atties. These are all the atties that I use. Uh, these are the ones that I keep. Um, I need to put that to one side just now. I'll pop that over there. Um, 
for those that don't know, I used to work in fishing boats and things like that. That's where uh, this thing comes from. It was a present from my folks. Karen got me a little cactus for the shed because she thinks I'm a prick. Um, <laughs> to you, maybe a shed, but to me it's a sanctuary. Uh, there's some uh, little mods that I, I tend to vape away with day to day. Uh, what I usually do is keep stuff here that I may, might, might not be reviewing it, but I do use them. Um, and especially the Delro. The Delro is, um, yeah, that's my all day vape. You know, always on the go with the Delros. Um, up here we have in this shelf, obviously we have my beautiful, beautiful mod up here that was a gift from Gadula, um, which will be treasured. Uh, a, paint, a little uh, print of watches. I love my watches. It was given to me by my wife. Um, we've got, oh God, a 50-50, Limelight 50-50s inside that uh, pouch there. Uh, we've got, obviously, Narig, uh, Nar Mods. Um, fifth anniversary pouch we've got a, a limelight uh, little wicket tiny little one there uh, a trinity uh, by nar mods and we've got a stig helix sorry about the lighting i know it's all the pot here uh, down on this shelf is a present from stephen at haku um a, what is a what obviously a watch display stand a little robot which i absolutely love the bits Nice little beautiful little watch on there. Um, we've got uh, another Delro inside a heart leather craft sleeve there. We've got uh, what we've we got here. We've got some alien figures. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Stackwam knife. Uh, we've got some mods. There's my 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 beagle in the background there. That takes four eighteen six fifties. Uh, my Vegemite to go with my Juggernaut that was a lovely present from the man down under. Um, and and that's it for you know, just everything going round here. Um, the shed's really tiny. Um, the shed is tiny. Um, sorry, I forgot to show you. I didn't mention my fox. It's, it's my fox. Obviously the... the yeah, I won't get into the story. There's my clogs. Clogs from my the lovely, my lovely Dutch friends. Uh, from the Octopus Club. Full of Germans. Lovely, lovely Germans. And, and that's it for roundabout there. Uh, but this bit is... Actually, I'm going to... I need to change something on the screen here. Is there something I don't want you seeing? Yeah, I'll put this back up here. Well, I... I'll just leave it like that just now. Right, uh, this is kind of where I I work from. So up in the top is is just um, boxes, boxes, and this is mainly the stuff that is in the review queue that I'm working away with. That's kind of what lives up the top at any one time. And right now it's very very quiet. It's very quiet. Uh, I've got a. Uh, I forget what is this a 32 inch screen that I've got here obviously it's a letterbox um, but as wall mounted uh, we've got in the corner there's a new laser printer that I just got a couple of days ago um, I've got a label printer hiding behind there there's some mods that I'm playing away with just now um, we have a Stream Deck, that's another in some purchase I just made, which is, is a great bit of kit. Love playing with it. Uh, it's just a macro keyboard, basically. Uh, a little iPad uh, that I can use as a third screen, uh, because I bought a Mac Mini, which is down below the desk here. And um, which means I can just, you know, I can have three screens in the go. And when I'm using streaming software, I tend to put my... E my streaming software runs on here um, really handy um, what else have we got Blue Yeti is it Blue Yeti? Christ, I've forgotten what the name of it is Blue Yeti, yes um, down here we've got 
with uh, my TP link from, thank you Mr. Bishop, uh, a little Google Nest or Home Hub. Um, we have, this is where I record, oh god the lighting's terrible. Camcorder that I use for my close-ups. This is what I actually use for doing my reviews. I use this camcorder here. Uh, it's a just because I just bought it. It's just a 4K one. Uh, but normally when I'm doing lazy videos, I use this camcorder up here. Uh, I just this is what I used to always record my reviews on was this old camcorder here. It's an old Panasonic, um, but. I bought this Panasonic one here not so long ago and on the wall there there's just some tools that I tend to use when I'm building Dominic got me my torque set and screwdrivers and so on and so forth and that that is about it um so this is where I sit all day that's my view all day uh, I just work from here. Now all my 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 um, what am I looking for here? What was I trying to say? Uh, is this still? I don't even know if this is still working anymore. I'm trying to turn. I'm trying to turn the camera around, but it's supposed to be three button pushes here, and it. There we go. Three button presses, and and it stopped. So I'll put this back up here. And I'll finish recording this on another camera. Um, so that's it. And, and the shed's really smart. I think it's six foot. I can touch wall to wall here. Six foot by 12. Six by 12. Yes, six by 12. And um, Karen bought this for me because <laughs> I used to do it from the kitchen. Uh, I started off doing my reviews from the kitchen nine years ago. Um, and then, um, yeah, just ended up doing them here. Um, the shed was just a bog standard shed. I got it floored, insulated, power out to it. I've got heating and everything. In, and this is where I work from all day. Um, it's strange looking at all the gear that I've got in here now because reviewing, um, Reviewing was just from a webcam or an old uh, Logitech C920, uh, from old Logitech C920, and and where is? Oh no, that's not a 920. This is a a C922 that I've got. Sorry, this is this is my little TJ cam. I forgot to show you that as well. I've had to change the position of it. Yeah, it's it's strange to think that he's actually older than when I started doing the videos because he's 10 now um so yeah back in the day that was just you just switch something on and that's all you did you just blethered whereas now as time went by uh, people used to moan about the fact that um, my videos were too long reviews were too long and um the general consensus was that uh, they had to be on under 15 minutes straight to the point no waffling no staring out the window and going uh Mm, which is what I do when I do these kind of videos is I kind of squirrel my head goes off on a tangent so it's all changed it was so much easier before whereas now I'm using these camcorders and I know it doesn't look like I bother with my lighting and all that and I don't really bother but yeah I'm wanting lighting I've got proper software and, and proper close up cameras and it's all changed. I know it doesn't look like it. I know it doesn't, but I do make an effort. I do make an effort for the reviews. Um, if you want to take, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as my vaping style and all the rest of it and vape gear, it's strange. It's it's changed, but it's stayed the same. I'm vaping with some tanks and mods here, and thinking, do you know, it's not really that much different to what I was vaping with back in 2012 and 13. Not that much different. I mean, that's just a mech. I mean, that's a smuggler. I mean, it's just it's just a mech. I mean, which is, it's not any different to mechs back then. Uh, I could do a vape, actually. Yeah. 
Uh, and that's this is a new tank. Uh, then is it the Nico? I've forgotten the name of it. Might be the Nico that's coming from Aspire, their Prestige line, but uh, it's one of their own. Um, and when you look at the deck and whatnot, uh, it's not. Listen, back when I started vaping, it was all about heating a coil up, vaporizing the liquid. Still doing the same today. Not much has changed. Um, and that's it, that's it. I, I was going to go and waffle and talk about the state of vaping and uh, what I see happening next and where we've been and, and, and my reviewing journey and um, what I've seen and what I've done. But <sighs> who's got time for that? You're bored already. You're probably away looking at your phone at YouTube and barking dogs. I probably would as well. Um, what I will say is that uh, I just now it's nine years. Thank you. To you would have noticed that a lot of the things that I have dotted about the shed are and and I've got I, I rotate them. I have boxes full of knickknacks, um, funnies, and gifts that. I've received over the years, mainly people taking the piss out of me, which I love. I love that. I absolutely love that, and that's how it should be. Um, but it's it's funnies, and I've got so many of them, and and I rotate them and mix them up as the year goes on. But it's to say thank you to everybody that has sent these little things on. I know I moan a lot, but they are truly appreciated. Um, hopefully, as you can see by the things I've got round here um, as far as the mods the atties and the tanks and the reviewing um, I couldn't do what I do if it wasn't for the support or the symbiotic relationship that I have with a lot of the modders yes I do a lot of reviews for the big e sig companies like Anakin and whatnot. But I remember when they started, and 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 yes, I'm lucky. I do have a good relationship, working relationship with two or three of these big companies. And when I say that, I mean that for me, a good working relationship is that I can give constructive feedback, and they may listen to it. And even if I put out a video and it has negative feedback, um, but it'll always be constructive. But even if it's negative, uh, they don't. They don't lose the tatty, they don't lose their head, they don't get all arsey about it, you know, they'll just say, fine, that's your opinion, we'll take it on board, we may or may not do something about it. So that the bigger companies, I like that kind of working relationship, but the, the modders, um, thank you to all of you for for letting me be part of your journeys. Um, and the same thing applies, a lot of these modders are most of the modders that I review gear for time and time again, um, I would say a lot of them I'm friends with, but a lot of them it's also because they will, it's, it's a two way street, you know, I, I can give constructive feedback and that's the most important thing because I don't want it to just be somebody that sits here and just shouts and screams, breaks things and, and calls people arseholes because that's not what I started doing reviews for. It's not what it's about. Uh, I started doing reviews because I'm really interested in the gear. I'm passionate about it. I love it. And I like showing it to you. So doing it any other way just wouldn't interest me. Um, I may not be the most popular vape reviewer under the sun because of that, but I don't care. I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Um, and hopefully the people that watch the videos get that. I'm going off on a tangent there. Well, shut up. Um, so there we go. That's it. A little tour around the shed. A little ramble and rant. A little thank you to you, to the modders, to, to you for watching. Because um, I couldn't keep doing this if you didn't watch. And, 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 and whilst I don't really care about sub counts and views and all that kind of stuff, I do appreciate the, when you do watch the videos. I mean, it's normally just my mum and dad that watch them, but when you watch them, other people watch them, it doesn't make me happy. I'm pulling your leg. I'm joking now. 
Um, so thank you very, very much. Um, that's it. That's all I've got. If you've any questions about anything you've seen, uh, or you want to know anything about, and it's never a bother. Uh, if you want to know about what the camcorders are, what the setups I have, and what did I start off with, and where I am now, just ask. Just post a question in the comments and ask. Um, I never, yeah, just ask, and I'll answer. I'm going to go now because I'm boring myself. Uh, but uh, thank you once again. And uh, I'll do this properly in my 10th annual, if I'm still going, doing this, who knows. Uh, but if I'm still going in a year's time, we'll have a proper one. And I'll show you all the mods and, and everything and blah, blah, blah. But, bye for now. <laughs>